Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We are the RC Sailors. We're at our local airfield today. Very happy to be out here because the weather's nice. There's zero wind and we have the Hobby King Skymaster. I shouldn't say we, because really Abby's going to be the one flying this. Uh, After Nate flies it and trims it up. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure the trimmings are okay because she's unfamiliar with uh, that whole process. We'll get you there eventually, but this is going to be hers once it's all trimmed up. Uh, this is her first and one of our very, very few to the collection, a balsa and plywood combination plane with a nice, very good looking film over it. Uh, everything you saw in the build video, we haven't modified anything except some tiny adjustments to the servo uh, push rods. Anyway, this we're just flying looks... on the Turnigy, what is it, TGY9X. Yeah, that's a nine, nine channel. channel, yeah. Although this is a uh, heavy. four channel plane, it's got aileron control, although there's one servo controlling the ailerons. So that's interesting, that's the first time we've ever had that. Uh, anyway. It's a beautiful evening, great opportunity to get this in the air, and I think Abby's just going to get some flight time in on the sticks, so let's get it in the air, trim it up, and then I will get behind the camera while she flies. Well, I'm not ready over here. Sounds good. Are you hand laundry? Or? No. Uh, no. Not with those giant wheels. <laughs> I'm always so nervous on any maiden flight, even a plane like this, I just get so nervous. I want everything to go well, so cross your fingers for me, guys. Here we go. <laughs> I am going to have to trim it up some with some elevator, but it's in the air, Abby. It's in the air. She's rolling to the right, left. or I mean to the left, so let's try to fix that. And then we'll do the elevator. Get to roll first. That's not bad. That's, that's hands free. I'm rolling to the right of here because I gave it too much. Okay, that's about perfect. I'm gonna land it for you. Look how pretty that sky is. Wow. That's a little fast. I think I'm gonna come around again. I'm doing that again. That was just too fast. I had too much throttle going. Some loops and things. Let's come in a little slower this time. Oh, look at that. Oh, nope. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that was embarrassing. Did you, you see that? You always flip over. That was so embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, are you ready for takeoff? I'm ready. Abby has the controls. You got this. Scared. Give us some juice. Up elevator. Oh. You got it. Get, Get up, in the air. That's right. Look at it. You're flying just fine. Far away as usual, huh? That's okay. That's a little high. <laughs> You're a little high. Hard for me to track on the camera like that, but I gotcha. I gotcha. Get used to the controls and then you can come a little lower. Maybe maybe even do a loop for everyone. I'd try to do a nice big slow loop though, because it's balsa and you don't want to snap that wing. The profile of the plane looks like a real plane in the sky. <laughs> what do you think? I like the yellow underneath. Me too. Still got butterflies? Yeah. Yeah. I can tell because you're quiet. <laughs> you're doing fine though. Try a right hand turn. <laughs> remember, uh, excuse me. Remember 
people are watching. Even though no one is up here, thousands of people are watching right hey, now. Nice. <laughs> that helps. Give him a left hand, then a right hand turn. That's what I was doing. Nice. Figure eight action. What's that? Oh, the people say they want a loop? Was that a loop? That was, that was a beautiful away. loop. It was a little sideways, but it was a loop. That's really far away. You're very far away. Very hard to see right now. So when it's in the sky, can you tell the difference between foam and balsa? Yeah, in my head, this one's way scarier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing loops just fine, though. I think it's hard because um, it's a different transmitter, too. Right. So I'm getting used to a different transmitter. Right. I don't know if you guys can hear her, she's a little bit farther away from the mic than I am, but she said that it's hard to get used to a different transmitter. Now there's nothing wrong with this transmitter, I flew on it, but it's heavier. We've got eight double A's in there instead of four, and the uh, sticks feel just a little different. Look at that, there's a loop. Very nice, Abby. Very nice. And, and another thing, this is our first outdoor airplane to have a rubber band holding the prop on. And it's doing fine. It doesn't really like to be on its side. Well, that's because it's a trainer. Yeah. It wants to keep uh, pulling back to center. And that's kind of a good thing for a trainer, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, not, I guess, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Try to give me a low flyby. Just a nice, just a nice stable <laughs> low flyby so we can get a good shot on camera. You crash. Here she goes. This is going to be a nice little flyby for us. There you go. Nicely done. bug on the screen I thought was you. Actually the bug on the screen is bigger than you. <laughs> so you were filming a bug? Uh, for a second, yeah. <laughs> on the screen. Yeah, a little, little gnat or something. Now a little interesting thing here, guys. I do have a LiPo alarm in the plane right now. There's just enough real estate in the hatch of the plane to put a little lipo alarm and I love that because now we can fly without worry of the health of the battery. We'll get a little alarm to go off when her battery gets low enough to the point where we should be landing it and still have power and still have control over the plane. I don't think you'll need one. I think this has an automatic, like you know, you'll lose power but still have control over the plane but I highly recommend you pick up a LiPo alarm for anyone flying planes. It's about a two or three dollar investment that could save you hundreds and maybe thousands of dollars in the future. It's okay, gotcha. Do you wanna to try to fly, uh, do a roll really high to see if it can do them? Oh gosh. It might be a really slow one, so if it goes super slow, you're gonna to wanna to give it up or nose down on the elevator when you're upside down so you don't lose altitude. You can do it. There we go. Pretty plain. So throttle's a good thing. 
It's upside down and it rolled. Good job. I saw it. <laughs> Try it a little closer for people if you can. Right there. That's good. Roll. Good job. And it's right above us. Sorry guys, I lost it, but she did a roll. That was awesome. There, we're back. There's a roll. Good job. I would not do like a ton in a row, but can you guys see that? Abby is flying this entirely on her own. No wireless buddy box. No one else is up here. It's just me and her. She is rolling like a maniac. Probably gonna snap that wing rolling so much. And uh, she, she did loops. Do a loop into a barrel roll or a barrel roll into a loop. There's a loop. And there's a barrel roll. Nose down. 